Well, hello again, and uh, welcome to Thought for Today. This is Pam from the UK, and it's uh, quite late here. I've been busy all day uh, in the garden because we've been actually in this in the seventies today, so we've had some really nice weather. And uh, so I've I've been quite busy. But I've not had a good time with technical things today. Um, trying to get the grass cut. And the strimmer kept breaking down. So I tried another strimmer and that broke down. I think, I'm not sure whether I've been overworking it. Then I tried to deal with my me me, me mobile phone. Or as you call it, a cell phone. And that wouldn't work. And now I've just had problems with what we're changing my mic over. So it's one of those frustrating times with um, electrical things. I've not really had much on my mind today, um, but it, it it just it just occurred to me that you know it doesn't matter what you go through. It doesn't it doesn't really matter what comes your way that the word of the Lord tells us to give thanks in all things for this is pleasing to God now I haven't even prepared anything tonight not even scriptures so um, I'm just going to let it flow as uh, best I can I mean if I don't like it I can always start again Sometimes I get a bit broad, uh, I mean from Yorkshire, so you might find some of the odd words that really slip backwards. Uh, so I hope you can still understand. Uh, as you can imagine, we're 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 having some um, problems in 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 this country at the moment with. Uh, different things that are, that have been happening and one of the things that 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 comes to my mind is is praise and thankfulness uh not only fights against fear but it also brings god into our situation because god inhabits the praises of his people you bring his presence in, in, into that situation and I know that there's there's not much today that what you can praise about but I think we can I think we can praise because we can give thanks and praise that it's coming soon and we're seeing the signs all over we've seen the signs in the skies we've seen the signs globally we've seen the signs in nature and we're getting confirmation one from another and from from different sources we know it in our spirit but before he comes we're going to see some am amazing things and we're going to see God at work and that again is something to be thankful and and to praise for and to be thankful that we're 
we're saved and ready for when he comes to be thankful for what he did to be thankful for what he can do through us if we will let him if we will follow his instructions there's one thing that King David did in his training time before he became king although he knew he was anointed to be a king but he really went through some tough times and he spent a lot of time in the wilderness but he was a king in training and he turned to the Lord whenever he had problems but as a shepherd boy his heart was for the Lord and that's what the Lord saw when he sent Samuel to go and anoint the next king after he uh, rejected Saul um, Samuel went through all Jesse's sons and the Lord said no not this one no not this one especially the ones that Samuel thought were ideal and it wasn't until David came the least expected the one thought to be of no use God said yes this is the one anoint him this is the one I want I've chosen and it was because his heart was in the right place his heart was for God and when your heart's for God you've got a heart full of gratitude you've got a heart full of praise so you know we know from if you've got children that sometimes when uh, you know or even relatives or, or friends when when they have times where they're not very grateful for what you do for them or for they're not very grateful overall I mean you know that that's not very nice it's offensive it's aff it offends you doesn't it it upsets you so when you've got an attitude of gratitude you'll do anything for them so I think today's thought is to have an attitude of gratitude because we have a mighty and a powerful God and great and mighty is he and he is worthy of all praise and I'd just like to leave that thought with you today and um, until next time May the Lord bless you and may his peace be upon you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.